All right, let's go ahead and graph this function. Uh, notice that this one is being added to 6, which just means that it's going to move the graph up 6 points on the graph. So, uh, again, if you have a calculator, this would be pretty easy to do, but uh, I am going to assume that you don't or that you're not able to use one in your class. So this is the process that you would want to do this, okay? So I'm gonna make a table once again. Also, once more, the Y doesn't have to be Y. You can put F of X there, but on the graph, that's our Y value, our Y axis. So the next thing is for us to go ahead and choose some values of X that uh, we can graph on the graph, so let's Again, we'll do some negative values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And if, if you graph these five points and it's still not clear what's happening, you can graph more points on your graph, all right? So let's go ahead and start with that x to the power, or where x is negative 2, rather. So I'm going to start with x being negative 2, and then we're just going to solve this. So that would give us 1 over 3 squared plus 6 which is really 1 ninth plus 6. And once we get common denominators right there, that would give us, uh, looks like it would give us, yeah, 55 ninths. So 55 ninths would be the y value. So negative 2 and 55 ninths, that would just be 6 and a ninth, which would be about right here, okay? And next we'll use, we'll replace x with that negative 1. So that would give us 1 third plus 6, which would just be 6 and a third. Or using common denominators, you'd have 19 thirds if you want it as an improper fraction. Again, this is very close to 6 right here. And continuing this pattern, if we have... Uh, 3 to the power of 0, that would give us 1 plus 6, which would be at 7. And clearly I put my point a little bit too low there. It should be a little bit higher on the graph. And next we'll try x is 1. So 3 to the power of 1 is 3 plus the 6. That gives us 9. So we have 9 in the table, and at 1 we have a y value of 9. And finally, we'll try next a value, x value of 2. So 3 squared is 9, and when we add that to 6, we get 15, and that'll go right in the table. So 215 would be right about here. The next step is for us to go ahead and graph this, and you can see that this line is going to be a little curved, and it will never reach 6. The reason is because as these values of x in the exponent are negative, it makes that 3 get closer and closer to 0 on the original graph, but in this case, as this gets 0, closer to 0, 0 plus 6 is 6, so there's a line right here at 6, which our, our graph will never touch. All right, so there we go. Uh, hopefully your graph looks a little bit better than mine, but that's about the best I can do using the technology that I have. All right, thanks for watching this, you guys. Good luck on your math.